Because... <laughs> I forgot I did that. Um, it is time, guys. Somebody hit exclamation point time as it says to do. <laughs> I had fun setting that stuff up earlier today. Okay. Guys, it is time for me to eat this cricket. Um, I'm gonna do another really quick poll, actually. Uh, I'm, okay, so I'm gonna be just popping in my mouth. We're gonna do another really quick poll. Two minute poll, guys. White chocolate or milk chocolate cricket? Hurry up and get your votes in. I've got three crickets. I've got one white chocolate, two milk chocolate. Which one am I eating? Everybody's saying no chocolate. A little bit of time left. But it is cricket time. White chocolate is for barbarians and the Dutch. Well, I'm apparently a barbarian. I love white chocolate. Actually, white chocolate and dark chocolate are my favorites. I'm not really that big a fan of milk chocolate. And there's the three crickets. There you go. Look at them. Let's get rid of this. That might help. There you go. Now you can see them. You sure you're not Dutch? Yes. It's going to get eaten eventually. Look, might cover the flavor better. Get in a vote, Steve. There's a poll up there at the top of chat. Not much time left. But I'm just popping it in my mouth. I'm apparently not taking a bite out of it. Milk chocolate wins. All right, milk chocolate cricket, guys. I got two of them in here. I'm going to get the bigger one. Let's get the big one. Gonna close these back up and put them back in their little box. Because don't forget, we have a uh, channel, a community challenge. Spend your channel points up to 2,000 a day on me eating uh, one of the chocolate covered worms next. This is a chocolate covered cricket. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this. Um, I just dropped it, but I caught it because I am that talented. This is still the cricket. You can tell by the by the shape. Look at the shape of this thing. Look at that. It's definitely a cricket. <sighs> I need to figure out what time this all started. It's too Guys, it's uh, it's been nice knowing you. It's definitely not the most disgusting thing I've eaten. It's easier to go down, it's easier to get down than just the, the sour cream and onion one was. I keep finding like bits of, I think that's a piece of a leg that's stuck to my tongue. Um, honestly,
honestly, it wasn't all that different from eating a Kit Kat. Except for me being aware that it's not a Kit Kat. No, when I had, it's, granted, it's been, oh gosh. I had, the last time I ate worms, I ate a nacho flavored worm and a sour cream and onion cricket. Then this was back in, I'm wanting to say mid to late 2012. So like eight years ago, that's how long it's been since I've eaten an insect. Um, thank you, Steve, I appreciate it. Cheers. I recall, yeah, that's, uh, that, that's a tea leaf. <laughs> that was not part of the cricket. Um, but no, when I ate those before, the, the worm I did, w wasn't really all that affected by, but when I ate that sour cream and onion cricket, because it was just a cricket that was dusted with flavor like a chip, um, a piece of like shell or wing or leg or something got stuck in my throat. I remember that. It's like no matter how much water I drank, I couldn't get rid of it. It took a while. Would I do it again? Yeah. Um... But yeah, so guys, we still have another community challenge. If you want to allocate your channel points to me eating a chocolate covered worm next. These are not small worms. I mean, these things are yay long. So that's, that's the next challenge. I've got five more insects to eat. Um, <laughs> yeah, that is now a thing I have done. But seriously, and I'm going to get up on my soapbox here. Try new things, people. It doesn't have to be food. Experiences are so important. There's so much world to experience, be it food, culture, um, art, television, different sports. Some of the sports other countries play are absolutely insane. Um, just explore people different from you. Explore the way people do things. You won't regret it. Even if you don't like it, you'll at least be able to say you tried. So, I enjoy going to the supermarket and finding weird produce and meats and products that I've never tried before. Everything from jammy dodgers, which are just a, a kind of a cookie, to I've tried oxtail, I've had shark, um horned melon. I finally got to try dra uh, jackfruit for the first time. Um, but it's through that kind of exploration that I realized I really like persimmons. Persimmons are delicious. And whenever I find them in the supermarket, I've got to get at least one. It's such a treat. Um, explore your palate. Explore what you like. Read. Read widely. Read from people who are very different from you, from very different cultures. Um, one of the coolest books I've read was written by, I'm wanting to say, a Chinese um, author. And it was fascinating. I mean, it had, granted, it had been translated, but wow. So please, find experiences. Do crazy shit. Go, um, uh, go parachuting. I, I have gone, I have gone parachuting. I have jumped out of an airplane. It was awesome. I haven't gotten to bungee jump, I haven't gotten to like jet ski or snowboard or any of that stuff yet. I want to. Um, but find something new. Find a craft that you've never tried before and do it. You never know when you might find a new passion project. Just live, everybody, please. For me right now, it's apparently eating crickets. Looking for the next adventure. So anyway, 